Hi, Kayla. It's my oven beeping over here, so I can uh, put my hala. We made a hala so I can eat it with the shakshuka later. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, people are joining slowly, so I will wait a minute so more people uh, can see it from the start. Hi, Sherry. Okay, I'll show, I'll show my ingredients meanwhile because everything is set up, so uh, if you're cooking with me, which I hope you do, uh, this is kind of the things that we have. So I have here two bell peppers. I'm gonna use just a little bit of each of them, but uh, if you make for like four people, you maybe wanna half and half. I have here three tomatoes, two eggs, bunch of cilantro, uh, two garlic cloves, um, paprika, salt and pepper, this uh, tomato paste and of course, of course, uh, my dad's homemade olive oil that I brought with me all the way from as well. That's why this bump over here, but it's from my uh, dad's trees. Uh, so it's kind of uh, exciting. He did a, a whole project for that. So I think we're going to start cooking and what we're going to start to do is uh, we're going to start by chopping the garlic. So I'll move all of my things out of my way. So, you know, you make as many effort if you want with chopping the garlic. I don't mind having big chunks in my garlic, uh, but some people don't like it. So, you know, you want to try to cut it for squares, like tiny little squares. So now I'll show you how does it look like. Kind of a odd situation for me over here. You know, just cooking, knowing some people are watching me at home. And it's kind of nice though. Just being together. I hope you guys are making too. If you are making though, I would like to see photos of progress. And like, if you want to have any questions in the comments and stuff. So go for it. That could be nice. Whoop. So here's our garlic, soon we'll be ready. By the way, if you join later, I have my challah in the oven. And so we'll be ready, hopefully right about time with the shakshuka together. So I'll have like a nice warm challah to eat a shakshuka. And for those of you who don't know, uh, shakshuka, is kind of a Mediterranean dish. I want to say that the origin is maybe in Egypt, but in Israel, it's one of the most popular dishes for people to eat. Uh, so it can be breakfast, it can be lunch, it can be dinner. Uh, I was really surprised when I was in New York to see that literally every breakfast place is offering shakshuka for uh, brunch. So it's kind of cool. Well. I'll show you my garlic. Here's the garlic over here. It's nicely chopped, not too crazy. I'm not going crazy about uh, chopping it too, too deep. What I'm gonna do, oops. You fell down, you guys. What I'm gonna do now uh, is I'm gonna put it over here in my pan. Okay. I'm just placing it there for a moment. I'm not yet starting to fry it. I'll start to fry it later uh, when I will have my bell peppers ready and then we're gonna do the rest. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bell peppers. I take a little slice. I don't take all of it. I don't like all of it. You guys, I have some friends from home. Hi, Ayel. <laughs> so it's kind of nice. So this is all that I use. If you like more bell peppers, go for it. Go nuts. 
no rules for shakshuka. And I cut it, I cut it to like these strings over here. And what we're gonna do, we wanna kind of fry the bell peppers a little bit before we put the tomato sauce so they will be pretty soft. Um, so they will kind of blend well in the tomato sauce later. So, oh, I thought about it. I didn't even explain what is shakshuka. Shakshuka is, I hope some of you have ate it before and I know that I brought it a couple times to the J. So some of you maybe did it, ate it in the J. Um, but the shakshuka is tomato sauce with poached eggs, which can sound very disgusting. If someone would just told me that that way, I would never eat it. Uh, but just like this, uh, it somehow tastes good. I don't know, tomatoes and egg doesn't sound like a big thing. So here is our bell pepper over here. Okay. We have here uh, those strings, and we're gonna start now frying them with the garlic in our pan. Adding olive oil, I would say, I'm just putting like this, but I would say it's about like one or two uh, tablespoons of olive oil, okay. We're gonna let it warm up a little bit with the garlic and when we see it start like a little bit bubbling, we'll add the, you know, not bubbling, like So we will add the uh, bell peppers too. Meanwhile, I will start cutting the tomatoes and you wanna cut them for like square, squares as you call it, chopped salad, okay? It doesn't need to be super small because as it cooks, it just became like saucy and switching knives. I don't like this knife for tomatoes. You see, it's like the most simple dish. Honestly, I'm making it usually when I'm too lazy to make dinner, so I don't want to make something that it's too heavy and will take too long, so the shakshuka is kind of a nice quick solution over here. Another tomato, tomato number two. I think the nice thing about it, there is not like specific amounts. Oh, here's that sound. So. The garlic is start like sizzling a little bit. So we're gonna add the bell peppers. Look at me cooking with one hand. It's not easy. Now when it starts making too much noise, you don't want to put it on the highest heat because you don't want it you don't want the garlic to be burned. So I put it on six, but no. Whatever your heat at home is. I'm gonna finish while this one is, while the bell peppers are getting softer. I'm just gonna finish over here to cut the tomatoes. Just make sure you stir it occasionally.
guys, it's quiet. Hi, Vanessa. Tell me some jokes. What are you doing? What are you doing to make your quarantine a little bit better? Jonah says hello. Hi, Jonah. I made you a cool video for Fidel this week. Take you to a tour in my house. So, now the ball peppers uh, are getting, see, a little bit softer over here. I reduced the heat a little bit more because the garlic starts burning. And I'm going to add the tomatoes. So, look at this cool pan my parents got me, the cool cutting board. You can fold it and then take the things down. Well, Vanessa, you got excuse to walk. You got your little Maisie. Okay, we added tomatoes. We're gonna let the tomatoes start boiling. So I'm gonna bring up the heat back again. Once the tomatoes are start boiling, we gonna reduce the heat. So I put it on seven. Um, we're gonna reduce the heat. We're gonna cover them and we're gonna let them be a little bit softer. I know this is like the most perfect cutting board I could ever get. It saves so much mess. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys back on your stand so I can wash my hands from the tomatoes. If you wanna know, put a pile of books so you can guys watch me. Okay, it started boiling right now, which is good. We're gonna let a little bit more so that will be soft. It smells delicious. I wish I could have sent you smell from a uh, live video. So here you see it starts bubbling. I'm gonna put it like on three over here. Not very, very low and I'm gonna cover it and um, let it cook. Meanwhile, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop the cilantro. The cilantro, you don't add to the sauce until you think it's ready, until you think it's done. It's just to like keep the fresh flavor of it. And of course, don't add the end of it, like just use the part with the leaves. This part to trash. It's cooking. You wanna do a checkup on my uh, challah over here? So I use three tomatoes, but I would say for uh, a family, you guys can use uh, maybe five or six tomatoes. Uh, for a regular one person dish, I will do almost even, even only two. I just used here a bigger pan, so it will be a nicer look. But let's check on my challah over here. Hi Miriam. Oh look how pretty how it grows. We'll uh, more. So it'll be kind of tan. Meanwhile we have some waiting time, so if you have more questions about uh the shakshuka and also uh once I'll finish here and we'll uh finish it I'll post 
the recipe full and detailed on Facebook. Uh, but if you want, meanwhile, to start making it with me, so you can uh, read the ingredients and ask me here questions on the Facebook event. So look, the tomatoes already have much better texture over here. So it's already much smoother. And you want to cover it while you're cooking it because you don't want to lose all of the liquid of the tomatoes. Like you do want to have a little bit, but not too much. Now what I'm going to add is I'm going to add a little bit of tomato paste. I don't like a lot, but it's a matter of uh, flavor. So I'm adding about like half a spoon. Oops, see, right here. Sorry for that. And if you feel you lost too much liquid, just add water. It's okay, it works. Now we're gonna add the spices. So I have paprika. Um, I will need to give up one hand for it. Put you here for a second. So just paprika. Um, I never measure it, but I want to say it's almost like half a spoon or something like this. Okay, if you want to see how it spreads out. And then some salt and pe pepper by your flavor. Some people will add more things. I like to keep it simple. And if there is other shikhim uh, over here, so you can maybe give your tips for the shikshuka. No, it's not, it's not a family recipe. It's just... Uh, I don't know, I don't feel there is really a recipe to make a shakshuka. Everyone makes it how they like. It's just the way I figure out how to make it and I feel it works. I'm gonna cover it back now. See, we're just gonna cover it back now to let's sit back a little bit and uh to get more liquid because in my opinion it's just lost so from the steaming put it on lower heat i let it cook for maybe five minutes or so and um then i'm gonna add the cilantro over here i'm gonna mix it and then i'm gonna put the eggs and then we'll be almost done wasn't it super quick and super easy? I love it. Let's check on our hala again. Whoop, whoop, look at that beautiful girl. And I can send you also the hala recipe. I posted though a really cool hala recipe in our Facebook event. Uh, I posted a hala recipe that they make in a bag. I never tried it, but it seems from the video like it works. <laughs> but it seemed cool. It seems like it's not a lot of mess in it. It's like no dishes dirty and stuff. Okay, I think we're ready. 
Look at that. This is the sauce for the shakshuka. Now I'm gonna add the cilantro. Oh, here, a tip from Fagi. Fagi saying the sifganiyat in a bag works. It's really cool because it's just zero, zero mass. You just finish with a bag and you throw it away. Probably all the green organization here won't be with me for it, which I probably should agree, but it seems easy. We anyway use nylon or something to cover the bowl. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to break the eggs into uh, the sauce and we'll be almost done. So I'm going to need a hand for that. Look, try to see over here, down here, how do I uh, break it. So I just break it inside. Once you break it, you can mix anymore because unless some people like their... Uh, eggs scrambled in the sauce. I think it's wrong. I break them, I put a little bit of salt on the eggs. And here it is. Covering it, putting it on a low heat, okay? And now the eggs are gonna start cooking. Uh, I saw that Heather, if Heather is still watching, I saw that Heather have tried it too. Um, I would say that just shakshuka is so easy to make that it's kind of, um, well, you know, it is really quick and last mess if you, if you don't, if you use the starter, but, uh, okay. Now we're just waiting. And as we're waiting, it's gonna be ready, and I believe our challah is ready too. Yep, our challah is ready. Here we go. Looks pretty, right? This side is fatter than the other. And if you see, the eggs are starting to have this little white going on. I'm not opening it just because I want to keep the heat going on. Shaka, that's it. It's really easy challah, and I'll be honest, it even does not got eggs in it. So if you're vegan or allergic to eggs or something, uh, you can use the recipe. It's this moment now that like everything is almost ready and you just wanna eat. And you're like, come on eggs, it's time to be ready. So the shakshuka, you can, uh, once upon a time, I did a diet, so I needed to eat it without bread, but usually you put like a little sauce, a little egg on a bread or challah or something and you eat it. I would say my family's tradition is to eat it for a uh, Friday lunch because it's kind of light and it's not ruining your uh, Shabbat dinner in the evening. Uh, so a lot of times that's what we're going to eat for Friday lunch. Any questions about the process? Or about just what am I doing in my house? You want me to you? <laughs> what are we doing? We're just waiting. I, I'm working on my practices of uh, editing video. It's not gonna be my profession. I am baking a lot. That might be, that's what I like. It's almost ready, you guys. 
I'll give you another look. See, already much more wider. Even this this egg already starting to have even the yellow cover. This one on the end. Another look at our hala. Beautiful. I'm excited. My favorite thing to bake. I know last night I did pizza night. It was delicious. Uh, I like, well, like, I like to make pretty things. Like, I like to take the time to make like something that's super nice and looks super impressive. I have to admit, I haven't done it till like a while because I don't have a lot of Shabbat dinners in my family. Every time I do Shabbat dinner with my family, I used to make a nice dessert or something for Shabbat. Um, but now I'm just making like quick things that I can share with people. Vanessa, you should, no joke. I don't have who that's gonna eat all of this hala. How do you get your hala so glossy? So I did double egg wash. So I, in the egg wash, I put a little bit of water and then I put salt and um, I do, I did double egg wash. And actually that's a tip that I got from Yoni uh, from Beth Israel Synagogue. Yes. But I think the double egg wash may, made it look nice. Ooh, guys, as I'm chatting here, look at the eggs. Almost ready. Uh, some people will like it to be runny. I don't like the egg in the shakshuka to be runny. So some people in this mood will already take it out once all of the white is ready. But I like the yellow to be ready too. It's nice, I'm feeling like I'm not bored when I'm cooking. I can talk to the air. That's true. I'm always bringing what I'm baking to share. But lately it's been to Jimmy's work because they are working. <laughs> but I'm always bringing you guys. I wish there were people in the office now because now I cook so much more. And I bake so much more but I have no one <laughs> to give it <laughs> Hi Mark. Mark no. Mark gets all of my goodies all the time. Right Mark? Well, to check if the eggs are ready, I know they aren't, yeah, because I can see. But I usually just use a fork and see if the uh, yellow is ready. Yummy, yummy. Hi, Rachel. We're joining us in the end. We're almost done. give you a look okay so you see the egg yellow is still not fully ready yet I know it's not the most photogenic dish that I could have made but I swear to God it's one of the best Goldie, are you in Israel right now? If you are, I'm jealous. Well, you know what? Maybe not so much. Omaha. In those days, for the very first time since the two years I've been here, Omaha is more alive than Israel. What are you doing in Israel? Why are you traveling? OK. 
Okay. Yep, we are done. Both of our eggs are ready. So, this is our shakshuka. I'm going to turn off the heat. And now what we do is you put it on your plate, but I'll show you before I'm going to sit eating. Oh, look how soft this hull is. So, you take a piece over here, and then I'll do it without a fork, but you just dip it in the sauce and eat it and i hope you will uh join me next time for my next cooking bye thank you thanks for watching tell and send me picture of your shakshuka once you made it